the UFO phenomenon, whether for believers or survivors, tends to be relegated to small-town hicks, paranoid university stoners and their dropout brethren. The simple truth is, critical thinking in the information age has refined our suspension of disbelief into a sharply honed skepticism and natural scoff. The very notion that we've been visited by intelligent life forms from another world is, along with myths of Norse gods and witchcraft, consigned to Hollywood films and teen fan fiction, and that's okay, right? Wrong. Spoiler alert, if you think you're safe at home, behind locked doors, think again. The next time you open your eyes, you might find yourself naked in the woods, missing three weeks of memories and carrying a whole new set of nightmares. To celebrate the revelation Rush is known about the existence of alien civilizations since 1969 with humans having walked the earth for an estimated 200,000 years, some might call the following a little short-sighted. And yet here we are. I will take everything that came before the advent of television, 1939, and stuff it in this first section. I do so with the utmost pride and sincerity. Sure. A lot happened during the first 199,926 years, but sources being what they were, let's just sum it up to one thing, drawings. A ton of them. All over the world, and throughout the ages, drawings, paintings, carvings, quilts and markings. They may each tell a different story, but in the end they all say the same thing, we are not alone. Followed closely by the lol out of play. This 12,000-year-old stone dish was found in Nepal. Note the central disc and spiral out of which there seems to appear a reptile, followed by a ship, space vagina, followed by bacteria or atoms and then another reptile and in the outer edge, at the center of it all. That's right. A mother flippin' alien. Sanskrit scroll, second image down on the left-hand side of image above another example. One of literally thousands which we will not explore here, is this ancient Indian scroll. It depicts Vimanas. A Vimanas is a temple. It also means flying palace and they're described in many of the Sanskrit epics, which are some of the oldest written texts of the known world. I could spend all day talking about these alone, so let's move on to thousands of years later and across the globe. Thanks for watching.